Thompson team. They guard, they're tough, they're tough-minded. You gotta take the game from them. And I think the one thing about playing at home is that we've been able to get a, an emotional response to the fact that McNeese wants to come in here and beat you. Stephen F. Austin thinks they're better than you. These guys think they're going to beat your fanny. And I get into the ability to get into their heads a little bit, and I get a, a, a real response emotionally and physically. And we attack pretty well on the road somehow. That just doesn't quite translate. And remarkably enough, we haven't even played a, a good 40 minutes on the road. And yet we're in every single ball game. And we turned it and got a break at, at, at Lamar. We just need one or two more like that somewhere in these remaining road games. And, and come here and do our thing at home. Do our thing at home and steal one or two more. And we could really make a move right now in this very congested league. I know, you know they've had a, a pretty good road record. But yes, indeed. Brooks, Brooks was saying that you know, everybody's that Jack on Hyde thing, you know. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just I think it's I think it's a real reflection of college basketball. It's I, I've looked at the ESPN website, of course I've got a mark, and I look at the leagues low, the mid and the high majors and it's, you know, most teams, most leagues rather have a lot of teams that are all kind of close. I mean, whether you look at a conference USA or even the Sun Belt in our league is a the Southern Conference is starting to get some separation. But, you know, a lot of leagues right there, the Big East is just tremendous how close they really are to each other. And, uh, you know, unfortunately for us, just one of us is coming out. But, uh, you know, it's an interesting race. It makes you really appreciate when you pick one up on the road because you know how difficult it is. And, and the other guy just has been bleeding just as hard as you have. And he, you get him at home, it's a real monumental win. And uh, But we got, we, you know, we're pretty good and we've been real close. A couple of three point losses led for 33 minutes at, at Sam. We got to go to Northwestern State to see if we can put that thing together for 40 minutes and, and go get one and maybe make start to make a move. What can you take from it? So maybe I think the first time this year that you'll go on the road to play a team that you've already played at home and beat. Well, uh, is there you know is there any mojo out of that? Or, uh, you, you, or, would, you would hope so. Or is it offset by the motivation the fact, they have? Sure. I mean they're going to have. Well, first of all, it's Northwestern State. That's going to that that's that's one thing. But you know our guys have handled that. It's, it's like a new generation. It's like the Star Trek, the next generation. The old Star Trek teams used to really get hung up on that a little bit. I found the new generation of Star Trek players here in the last three years, the Brandon Fortners of the world, they don't seem to get too nervous against rivals. Maybe that's a problem, too, but they, they go out there. I think they're going to play. They're going to play against Northwestern State the same as they probably play against everybody else. And I think that's a good thing. I don't think they get too caught up in the fact, that, oh, my gosh, it's at Northwestern State. I think they're just going to go and, and play. Uh, what I want us to do is just do the simple things well at this point. And, you know, come up with the loose balls. Don't turn it over. We did a beautiful job tonight, 23 assists and 9 turnovers. And I think doing those simple things and playing really hard give you a great chance on the road or at home. And, um, you know, that game doesn't need any introduction. If, you, if you're not ready for that, you have no pulse. You don't belong playing college basketball.